Hi, 7th grade. Welcome to lesson 8-7. Describe cross-sections. By the end of the lesson, I want you to be able to say, I can determine what the cross-section looks like when a 3D figure is sliced. Solve and discuss it. How could Mrs. Mendoza divide the ream of paper equally between two art classes? She has a paper cutter to slice the paper if needed. What will the dimensions for each sheet of paper be once she has divided the ream? How many sheets will each class receive? So we have a rectangular prism, our ream of paper, and she can divide it evenly if there's 500 sheets between her two classes. Divided by two and each class gets 250 sheets. And each sheet would be the same 11 by eight and a half. There's another way we could slice it. We could slice it down the middle long, and that would mean each class would get 500 sheets, but they wouldn't be the same size. The sheets would be 11 by 4.25, because we would cut it down the middle with ways. We could also cut it down the middle hot dog style. So each class would still get 500 sheets, but instead of 11 inches, it would be five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. Focus on math practices. How would the number of sheets of paper each class receives change if Miss Mendoza started using 300 sheets? Well, the first way, 300 divided by two would give us 150 sheets per class with that 11 by eight and a half. The other way would still give us 300 sheets with the 11 by 4.25 and 300 sheets with the five and a half by eight and a half. Example number one. Describe the cross sections of a right rectangular prisms. Rachel and Francesca went to a restaurant that serves rectangular bread rolls. Each sliced her roll in a different way. What do the cross sections look like? A cross section is a two-dimensional shape that is exposed when a slice is made through a three-dimensional object. Rachel made a vertical slice that was parallel to the front and back faces of the roll. The cross section is parallel to the front and back faces, so it is the same shape as those faces. So if we cut it down, right here it's going to give us that rectangle that's three by two if she wanted to cut it horizontally cutting it through the loaf it would give us another rectangle but this rectangle is a different size four by three still a rectangle zachary made a vertical slice that was parallel to the left and right faces of the bread roll what is the shape of the cross section and what are its dimensions so this rectangle is the same as the front rectangle and the back rectangle. So that's two inches and four inches. So the shape of the cross section is a rectangle. That is four inches by two inches. What are the shapes of the horizontal and vertical cross sections of a rectangular prism? And how can you determine the dimensions of the cross sections? So the shapes of a horizontal and vertical of a rectangular prism are rectangles. And the dimensions are the same as the parallel sides. Example number two. Describe cross sections of a right rectangular pyramid. Kenya made a sandcastle in the shape of a right rectangular pyramid with a height of 0 0.9 feet. If Kenya sliced the ca castle horizontally parallel to the base, what would the cross section look like? The cross section would be a square, but the squares are not the same size as we move up towards the top of the pyramid. They get smaller and smaller. If Kenya sliced the castle vertically through the top vertex, perpendicular to the base, and intersecting the 0 0.75 foot inches, edges, what would the cross section look like? Well, the cross section would look like a triangle. 
an isosceles triangle with a height of 0 0.9 feet and a base of 0 0.6 foot. Solve problems involving cross sections. A truck needs a metal divider that separates the refrigerated part of the truck from the dry goods. What should the divider look like and how many square feet would the metal divider be? So if we cut it down in the middle, it would be a square and it would be parallel to the back of the truck, which is 8 feet by 10 feet. How many square feet is it going to be? The whole thing is area. That's why we use length times width. So 80 times, or 8 times 10 is 80. The metal divider will be 80 square feet. Try it. Draw a cross section that is created when a vertical plane intersects the top vertex and the shorter edge of the base of the pyramid shown. What is the area of the cross section? So if we cut down the middle here, it makes a triangle. The triangle has a height of 4 inches and a base length of 7 inches. Area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So the area of this is 1 half, 7 times 4. So the area is, we could multiply and make these all fractions. 7 times 4 is 28. 2 over 2, so the area is 14 inches squared. Key concept. Cross section is a two-dimensional shape exposed when a three-dimensional figure is sliced. The shape and dimensions of a cross section in a rectangular prism are the same as the faces that are parallel to the slice. All right, seventh grade, let's say it. I can determine what the cross section looks like when a 3D figure is sliced. Have a great day!